So this is a step-by-step -step of my Toucan watercolor tutorial. So I first start out with a the lightest color, which in this case is yellow, and I put that over his belly and his head, and while the yellow is wet, I put some of that green around his eye so it can kind of bleed into it. And then also the beak, I put a yellow wash on it. First yellow layer. And then while that's drying, I move down to his feet, and I put an aqua color on, and I put some shadows with purple. And then I just dab it together with some blue and kind of fade it all together. I go back after the yellow is dry and put a layer of green onto his beak, and I'm just uh, fading out those lines so there's no harsh lines anywhere. And then while that is drying, I go down to his tail feathers. There's a little magenta spot. And with the magenta on my brush, I go back up and put that tip that's red on the end of his beak. Next, I go down to the stick and I put a layer of light brown and then a little bit of dark brown. And then I move to his feathers, his body feathers. Some, this is dark indigo, and I'm using a bigger brush here so that I can cover more ground. And his tail feathers here, I also use the indigo. It looks darker just because the paint is thicker with less water, but it's the same color paint. So this is just really thick indigo paint, and I'll probably go over it with another layer just to make sure it's dark enough because watercolor usually dries lighter than when it is wet. So I went in and I put another layer of dark feathers over that uh, initial back feathers swash. And then I go back in and I put another layer again on the tip of his beak to make sure that it's bright and the color shows up. And I just, on the paper towel here to my right, I uh, just wash off the excess water and stuff to make sure that I've got the right consistency of water on my brush. So he has some orange on his beak, and that green is just kind of faded into, uh, it fades into nothingness, so that orange is on top of the green. It doesn't, the colors don't uh, line up next to each other. They're, one is, is on top of the other one. So I did the eye, but my hand was covering it, so I didn't, I cut that part out. Now I'm just going in with a small fine brush and some thick pasty indigo paint on my brush so that I can get in that fine line that's between his uh, head and his beak. I'm just being real careful about uh, not going too far or too far the wrong direction with the, with the paint there. It's really a fine line. So he's got some red feathers uh, at the bottom of his neck in between the indigo and the yellow. So I'm just blending those two together. And at the bottom of his beak now I'm putting a blue a layer of blue on top. So that just kind of makes it look like a shadow and gives it more depth and makes it look a little bit more round. And on top I added a little bit more green to make sure that that green was bright enough. And I blended that in. And now I'm putting some shadow around his eye. He's got some blue shadow around his eye. It makes it stand out a little bit more. A little bit of blue underneath his neck for a shadow there. Some more shadows on his feet, just making sure that I've got all my little spots covered and everything's dark enough. Just going around now and checking the details of everything to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Making the stick a little bit darker also. And here I'm just lifting out a little bit of that paint on his shoulder so that it can be a little bit brighter. And then I'm darkening up the feathers just so that there's a little bit more contrast. So a lot of this is just layers on layers on layers. So the color dries and it dries lighter and then I put another layer on. So just checking my details. I think Put another layer on his beak because I want that red to be real bright and pretty.
And some of the markings on the side of his beak also I'm adding because I missed it originally. Making sure the green's dark enough. And then lastly, I put a highlight that goes down his beak that makes it look like the light's shining on it. And there you have it. This is my Toucan watercolor.